We were literally having an R&B jam. Before. I wish I was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Leanne, and this is Billboard News. It's Tetris with Billboard News, and we're feeling all pink and pretty today with Leanne. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. So happy you came all the way over the pond to hang out with us. Always. Don't Say Love is a certified bop. Love it. So tell me why you decided this was going to be your introduction to the public as a solo artist. So yeah, Don't Say Love came in like the beginning of the process. Always knew it was a banger. It kind of became obvious quite quickly that it needed to be the first single and especially with the meaning of it, the idea of wanting to be loved wholeheartedly and like, um, like at 100%, I think it was very relatable to me and I just thought, you know what? Yeah, this needs to be the first one. And that's such a relatable subject in general, I think that touches people. So how's your fan reaction been to the single? It's been incredible. It's been better than I could have imagined. Um, yeah, just seeing people like doing their videos and singing to it, seeing how happy it's making people, like that's what it's all about. So yeah, it's been really good. And now you gotta, I'm sure, move on into a full length project. So let's talk about that. I've heard you mm. were talking about fusing some genres together. So yeah. what genres do you wanna mix and what do you want your sound to be? So I'm an R&B girl. Like, everybody knows I love my old school R&B. At the same time though, like, I really do wanna incorporate all the other genres that I love. So yeah, we've got some reggae stuff on there. And then I think, I am a pop girl at heart too, so I just feel like that stamp is always going to be in the midst, you know? Yeah. It's a shame it had to end out this way. And you did say old school R&B, so now that popped into my head. I want to know, like, who's your favorite old school R&B artist, but also new R&B? I want to see both yeah. spectrums. Well, I love I love a boy band, so like I've always loved Jagged Edge. Ooh. Um, we just listen to Drew Hill. Oh, yes. Um, Immature. Uh, Joe, I love, um, Genuine, and the list goes on. You did name a lot of groups there. So tell me how it is to be an artist now that you're stepping into your solo game, like how you approach that versus being in a group. <sighs> um, it's definitely different. Like I don't have my sisters to fall back on. I swear that we will lose this thing we so I definitely miss the sisterhood, but at the same time, it's just it just feels so freeing and just like, I don't know, like that sense of empowerment just to stand on my own and know that I'm just doing this for me. And um, yeah, it just feels like the right time. It, it just feels so right to me. And then also I want to talk to you about Kelly Rowland because mm. I think that's amazing that you said she was the one that put you guys together. Yeah, that is strong vocally. Really? Absolutely. It's about having, being the next generation and discovering something oh, yeah, new. Yeah, of course. Have you talked to her since then? Yeah, so I actually saw her at Rock Nation brunch and we like had a little moment and she's just so sweet and like she was just like being so lovely. Um, she's just, I don't know, like she's like the, like the older sis, you know, like just kind of, you know that she's always got your back, like that's what, that's what it feels like. She's just, yeah, she's amazing. I mean the knowledge from like her Destiny's Child knowledge obviously mm. I'm sure can help you in a lot of ways. I feel like you guys need to collab, would you do that? Oh my God. Yeah, can you imagine? I'd love that. And I mean, you have a whole new stage of your life that you're in now. So, mom, twins. Mm. So, okay, walk me through juggling, launching a solo career, but also being a mom. Oh, I don't really know how I'm doing it, to be honest. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> wild to me. I don't know. I just feel like I'm taking it day by day because it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Like, I hate leaving them. I hate it. But at the same time, I love this. I love what I do. And there is no reason why I can't have a successful career and be an amazing mum. I mean, I'm freaking proud of myself though for, for how I'm doing it. And well, they actually love music and they're always dancing. My second single, they sing along to is so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> so you need to have them tease it. No. <laughs> that needs to be. That is the plan, right there. Wow, well, okay. You should do that. And then you also, also have Perry that's a parent. Yeah. So how is it to kind of go through this phase of your lives together? Has so, that changed your sisterhood? Oh my gosh, it brought us even closer, I think. Um, the fact that, yeah, we had each other to lean on. 
and we can't wait to see where your solo career goes, but you know I have to ask for the fans. Where do you see the next level of Little Mix? When new, can we maybe see you guys back together? I definitely think we'll have a reunion. I mean, how can we not? You know, like look, look what we've created. Like we, we've created a legacy, so I just think, yeah, like we don't really have a choice. Like Little Mix, uh, it will always be Little Mix, you know? Somebody watching this interview right now and they're like, what, who is Leanne? What would you want to leave with? Um, I think one thing that Leanne doesn't want to be is boxed into anything. Um, I want to be a global superstar. I want to be, I want everybody to, to feel like they can listen to Leanne. Um, I want to make music to empower. I have a lot to say. I want to keep inspiring people and I want to be true to myself. Love that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to global superstar, Leanne. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us Thank today. Thank you.